I cut that. We got some <laughs> amazing players out here. I saw the buzz on stream before going up against Ram, and now we got um, yeah, Ram was now we got really Syrup good. going up against Vivi. Yeah, Vivi kind of we got cleaned me up when I when I played him, but uh, double buffs right from start. Oh my <laughs> from god! The start. You know that's good. You know taking advantage of like Nessa's like sort of like yeah. relatively like. Middle of the pack, like, you know, ground speed on the ground on the way to get in. This is the current number three in New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, Syrup, Syrup, after, like, over quarantine, this man went went into the, the time capsule. Mm -hmm. And he came out a changed person. This guy, such, what makes him, like, a part is not only does he have good, like, Ness fundamentals. Yeah. But he's very good at adapting. He's like, oh, yeah. So, he, he's so perceptive on reversal scenarios, uh, like, like uh, when he's trying to get out of the corner, as well as, you know, to uh, kind of clean up these kills. You, you kind of have to be if you're going to play a character like Ness, man. He kind of has that sort of, like, discount Mario syndrome where, like, he's a little stocky and, like, can sort of struggle to get in. But unlike Mario, you know, he's got that forward air, which is a quick hitbox out the front. Oh, yeah. That's That alone assists him in neutral. And it's a multi-hit, so it's yeah. just kind of lingers. So you can use it almost to cover space and, mm -hmm. and like, just... That, that's something that, like, you know, you know that, that I feel like is underutilized is the fact that, like, abusing your frame data to lock down certain areas of the map. Ooh, and that's zoom and oomph that we got out here already with a stock lead tacked on yeah. with some rage. This might be some meaty damage if Syrup is not too careful with himself. I love that down tilt right there to intercept his, uh, to intercept attack right there knowing that that was going to outrange him. That was smart. Yeah, there's zoom. The, the best you can do is like, is try to read like, uh, on certain stages, like bigger stages like this, the, um, the screen will actually slightly shift depending on which, uh, position mm -hmm. the zoom's coming down from. So it, 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 like, in certain scenarios, you actually can kind of make it instead of like, all right, you have to guess one of seven spots, now you have to guess one of three spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any way that you can like narrow that beast down and yeah. just make it just a little bit easier for yourself. Or you can play Sephiroth and up air. Uh, or you can play Sephiroth and up air. I mean, we got a different <laughs> Square Enix out here. Already with a sword, though, it's going to eat that back air, though, as Vivi's going to lose his first stock out here in the set. This is already like, oh, really interesting low percent damage okay. combos. It's not often that you see back throw at zero percent um, from the Nest player. Can we get a split for that guy's ankles? That's just a <laughs> Because <laughs> it was kind of broken right now, my man. That's like the no that's like the no cross up cross up right there, yeah. man. It's like not what you expect to break the ankles, but it works, even yeah. though it's not strong enough there. There like, you go, gonna take the uh, Everybody knows that back throw sword. is is a scaling throw. Oh yeah. And and, and most you know Ness will throw throw you because it has a high base knockback. Yeah, that's, so like you never expect it, yeah. It's like one of the most common misconceptions of this game is who has the strongest back throw. Like everybody's like so many people will say Ness, it's not technically true, that's actually Incineroar. With revenge. If, if, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, not even just with revenge, but in terms of comparing the base knockback to the oh, knockback growth. Okay. One of them has higher knockback growth than the other. The knockback is better than the other one. You know how it scales. The more with you know, that like well, you know, we just did that little like shooting star animation. Is <laughs> 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 that DMCA? <laughs> Got to be careful with that. Good oh, forward air to kill him off the that's side. That's a different right shooting star. <laughs> that's a different shooting star for sure. Yeah. I gotta say though, down like very early, Syrup is slowly tacking his way back this time around. Only a 30%. Oh wow! Well, just as I say that, gonna get the healing. Are out there about a 40% differential yeah, instead of the Accelerado, it just it lets you move a camp, which is so huge because while Ness does have those you know big you know fast uh, decently safe buttons, he is somewhat susceptible to getting whip punished if, mm -hmm. if, you, if you space yourself correctly. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You know those stubby arms could definitely just spell yeah. disaster if you're swinging too wrong in the face of a sword. Like Hero doesn't always have the best frame data as far as like sword characters go for sure, but it doesn't matter. It's a still a sizable sword, and you know Ness is. Pretty susceptible to not being able to deal with that if you're not as good as Syrup, but fortunately I, Syrup I, is as good as Syrup. Yeah, <laughs> is as good as Syrup. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Euro has the frame data where it counts. So like his yeah. jab and his forward tilt kind of like really help out his neutral. Because mm -hmm. he can kind of just like back back dash punish anti-air. Um and, and kind of like it's not that safe on shield, but it's one of those moves where like, wait, he's gonna do the third hit. Yeah. Good drift. Now he, uh, BB has been like honestly, Cell Rattle was the name of that game. Like oh, yeah. for, for most matchups, you actually see like Maybe balance or like good uses of, of, of like, you know, uh, double power buffs as, or just even just using oomph um, or, or like certain kabooms it, um, is where it takes it. <laughs> it's just so funny <laughs> watching that in motion. He just, he flew Rico. so far. We go where no man has gone before. That's the thing. You know, when he actually has accelerate out, what is, what is a little boy like Ness to do? You, uh, He's got a way to intercept, you know what I mean? You know, um... I think probably the best way to play it is you play, like, when, when you Excel Rattle, you play very grounded and mm -hmm. you, you dash shield and you try to bait out that, that shield grab because everything else will be really fast and really hard to predict. But, like, it, if you try to force him to start, you know, wanting to shield grab you, you can kind of dictate, get some momentum and, like, leverage back in, yeah. in your, on your uh, hand. That's a good point. Interesting yeah. cross up starting with the down tilt. Oh my gosh. Shield in the corner. Sheer corner pressure is like such good coverage, and you could kill off that good, you know, SDIing down and away. 
and, and then um, just trying to get right under the down air. Yeah, and it was good coverage by Syrup, too. I mean, he didn't get what he was going for, but it was still safe at the end of the day. Yeah. The fact that he knew that he could get a second rising neutral layer to cover a jump from uh, cover the jump from BB right there was really important. And as a result, he's still securing a pretty solid lead. Yes, uh, the thing about Syrup... Nice. Great coverage. But, uh, Syrup does really have to, like, you know, when's the, 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 the 10 second buff? Syrup needs to, like, kind of, like, play more on the back foot because he's still kind of fighting with it, which is, like, it's working, but, like, it's, like, limit. Just just wait that, wait that out. Because you don't want you don't get reversal at like 60 and like oh come on man like mm -hmm. if I move that wouldn't have killed at all. Exactly and you know what's the mid range like what what is the mid range like you know danger zone for Ness in this kind of situation you know because obviously you're the one with the lead you like you theoretically you don't have to be the one to approach but we're talking about hero here who has menu at the end of the day yeah. you don't approach this character is when they start getting their buffs and all of a sudden scaling. they bring the game back and then some yeah. you know what I mean. It's a scary, like, weird DLC position to be in, you know, mm -hmm. if you're playing a Syrup right here. A Syrup right now, good stuff. Knows that, like, all right, he has bounce. I can't rely on, on my platform movement with my side base, so he's just kind of dashing back and forth, back and forth, trying mm -hmm. to look for either a dash tag or trying to bait, uh, just get him to burn mana on that side B, because that second charge side B is a disgusting move and mm. an affront to many DDs. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it does burn a decent amount of mana if you, if you can uh, force that out. Yeah, Syrup's doing a much better job of just, like, you know, just reading and reacting to all of, like, Vivi's, like, you know, all of Vivi's just approach options generally. He's doing such a good job at just, like, playing at that mid-range that he has to is the up throw yeet with yeah. the buffs right there. It's going to take the stock. <laughs> That's just what a character like Ness, I feel like, has to do when they're actually oh. up a stock. Oh! That could be huge. I was thought that was going to be one more. The up tilt's <laughs> not going to be enough to get yeah. anything off of, though. Not at that percent. Way too high. But honestly, every uh, when you're playing a character with a kill throw, every percent matters. That's true. Yeah. Because you just get one more uh, one more hit closer to that inevitable back throw killing. That long game is so important, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, wow, great move, manu uh, maneuver. It made it look like he was going to the platform, so he tried to back air to kind of, at, at the very least, poke the bottom of his shield and be safe. Yeah. Um, but he, he ended up penting landing, and uh, Syrup missed. All right. Trying to react to the option once again, running in with the neutral air. There's 169%. Yeah. Order isn't, you know, <laughs> and zoom, but, you know. The reason why uh, you see a lot of these heroes go towards the, the blast zone is because he actually gets uh, a 40, yeah. Yeah, that 40% uh, mm -hmm. chance bonus for those of you in chat are just like, why is he like kind of cornering himself a lot? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's a fun fact about him. He actually has like, he's much more likely to get zoomed the closer to the uh, horizontal blast zones that he actually is! Okay, that, that move is literally just waft. Yo. <laughs> that is waft on command. It's waft on command, but like Wario's waft doesn't kill him. I mean, the Taco Bell's not that spicy <laughs> there. I don't know what Hero's eating, man. It's like Taco Bell with like Chipotle dessert or something that it kills it's, right there. It's, it's a Nacho Bell's Grande, bro. That was one of the most optimal kabooms I think I've ever seen Yeah. in my life. The fact that he was able to turn that situation around right there from being at as crazy high of a percent as he was to him taking the stock and giving up his own that he was probably going to lose anyway, that yeah. Kamikaze was crazy. Mm -hmm. I said Kaboom earlier, my yeah. mistake, I meant Kamikaze. I mean, dude went boom, bro. <laughs> he did, I mean, dude did went boom. You know, I'm going to think something otherwise when your character's names are like, your character's moves are like Kaklak, Kaklizzle, <laughs> Kalak. It, it sounds like the, you know, like Sounds like something out of the Chronicles of Narnia, bro. <laughs> 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 On, on God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shadows of the Chronicles of Narnia. Anyway. That kills hard. Yeah, good movie. Good, movie. good book, good book, yeah. True. Yep. All right, but Jib right now trying to play around these platforms, but um, I, I really got Vivi's kind of like hiding, you know, not, not behind them, but <gasps> underneath them. The wind box actually reversing the situation right there, and now we got Vivi out here with the ledge trap, unfortunately whipping that neutral air and eating a forward right. air of Syrup's own, but, but still. another one, Accelerado, this could be huge. We've, we've seen a lot of stocks right here, and just gets one random aerial, and then just kind of like puff walls you to the fly zone. I thought he was gonna Beyblade that neutral B right there. I'm not gonna lie, that should be it. Yeah, yep. all the all the, fra uh, the the frame advantage due to you know, the high percent. Do do do. Yeah, the, you know that's Ness back throw we're talking about. Like we said, one of the strongest back throws in this game for sure. At the very least, the strongest in terms of knockback growth, if I'm not mistaken. I don't Let's see the situation reverse Somebody, again. Yeah, oh that God. was and the roll because he was like he was he didn't he wasn't too sure on the timing, so he was trying to use the iframes to try to get through it, but like. In that scenario, you have to, like, either air dodge or it's, I don't know, it's scary. No, it just reminds me of, like, Sean a couple of weeks ago at, um, at, uh, I believe Riptide, was it? If I'm not mistaken, when he went for that Falcon Punch, and everyone's like, yo, that's the most optimal Falcon Punch I've ever seen in my yeah. life. That's not normally the kind of move that you, like, use besides, like, styling. Yeah. It's the same with, it's mm -hmm. the same with Kamikaze, yeah. man. But he made it work. You know, that was, that was, that was a good call out. <laughs> it really was, honestly. Yeah. It's tough. Well, unfortunately for uh, Vivi, it wasn't enough for him to be able to take the game, though, as we're running into game number three at Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, I, I honestly feel like Ness just wants to, like, just get rid of PS2, get rid of, you know, uh, of, uh, not Smashville, um, 
town because you want to be in scrapping distance. Because like your button, your buttons up close are way better than heroes uh, up close. Yeah. It's just you know heroes so good at playing off the back foot mm -hmm. that like you know in bigger stages like this, there's a lot more stages that you have to kind of bridge bo uh, before you get to play that you know those that CQC and it makes it a lot easier for you know to get with uh, you know back dash punish. Yeah, it really takes an S player with good fundies to make sure they're not playing off that back foot yeah. way too long because the more distance you really like have against hero like right here, like he's got stage control. I'm gonna get psych up. Why not? Well, I have no reason not to go for that. And a smaller thing is, um, uh, uh, Syrup's so using those dares by the platform, so that way he's trying to get maybe to audio react to the stimulus of him throwing out a button. Yeah, not only that, but like the A landing of the Ness's down air yeah. also has extremely low lag. So mm -hmm. that's a good bait move as well. I mean, obviously it's just a sort of a matchup knowledge check, yeah. really. Like, okay, do I know like how much landing lag Ness has on that? Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you might just whiff against it for no yeah, reason. Yeah, you might just like, oh, I can just forward air him, and then he just shield dares you. Really good bait against sword characters, too, because they're just like, oh, I could just space it, yeah. and I'll be fine. I'll be able to space myself around him. Like, no, that thing has no lag. Yeah. Like, no lag. He will hit you for it. He will be positive in that situation. Yeah, and his nair just turns him into a ball of, like, that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which Ness pretty much already is. Oh, true. There's a back throw ye, going to get him off right here. What's the ledge trap we got going on? Just waiting for nice, the kaboom good instead. Delight, get up. Yeah, that's really important right there, just getting all the iframes out from that neutral get up as you possibly can because if you have kaboom that's got a win box as well that's the real scary part about it even if it doesn't hit it might just drag so, you off stage so many times people have tried to like air dodge or, like jump away from it and yeah. they just get hit by the vacuum cleaner they get, they get sucked <laughs> up like a, like a ghost in luigi's mansion i was about to say it's a better poltergeust than luigi's i was just <laughs> thinking about luigi's mansion i'm not gonna I'm lie to you so glad we're on the same wavelength <laughs> yeah we do yeah we, we, we should talk more honking True. We should, yeah. If you want to hang out later, let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Chat, let's you're do it. Why not? Chat, you're invited too. You're, you're invited, chat. Come through. Fly out. Good F tilt, though. Going to take it off right there. No bounce to be able to reverse that situation with a PK fire from the mid range. That's that's a matchup check for Ness. Like when this character gets bounce out and you don't have projectiles, yeah, like the, really like, like the lower level Nesses that like rely on it. Yeah. Like you're gonna get bodied, man. It's like oh, you you can't use like you know Nikita too, or you mm. can't use like you know Go Go Gadget fifty percent. <laughs> Go go PSI magnet. <laughs> Dude, magnet. All right, people are gonna. People, I'm gonna get some comments, but magnet is literally just peach foot with a hitbox. In a way, I'm dying yeah. On this hill. Yeah, that move. Did, that move did not used to have a hitbox back in my day, man. It didn't, you know, way the, back in the younger especially days. Especially the way Syrup uses it, because yeah. they're like he'll flip flop his side, you know, he'll, 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 he'll make it look much. like oh I'm gonna land fair. Oh, all of a sudden I just flipped myself around back air time. Be reversing that move is so yeah. insane, man. It's able. It's it's just it gives Ness such like a bigger like horizontal range for his combos as well as long as yeah. as well as just opening up doors for way more extensions. Oh, yep. he. Wow, that's Hugh Neutron. Man. <laughs> You're going to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. <laughs> that actually got Shadow Realm. That was crazy. Dang, I... No I, ducks. <laughs> Let's guess, take a look uh, at this again. So you full, uh, full of some uh, fear and loathing, the way he got hit by that Las Vegas uh, he casino right there. disappeared, my guy. <laughs> He didn't even need to do that. I mean, like, obviously, you know, whatever. You're close range. You got it out in the menu. Lucky enough, optimal enough. I'll go for it. It's going to kill. But, like, man, very inopportune for Syrup at that time around, my friend. Good stuff to BB. Just really, yeah. not, I don't even want to say banking on the RNG, but just, like, making just a Just kind of knowing that it's like, all right. It, it will actually, at yeah, that percent, even just do enough hits on that, like, it just kind of reforce. The worst case scenario is you start scrambling. Yeah. It's like you're not really going to get punished on hit. Pretty much, yeah. I'm back to small battlefield again. Layout platforms might be a little bit better for Syrup on the ledge trapping this time yeah. around, as well as a smaller stage to, you know, mm -hmm. sort of just like shorten the gap between him and Vivi a little bit more, which yeah, you I, definitely I, want to do in this matchup. These are my favorite types of sets for back and forth, back and forth, just adaptation, like, mm -hmm. and, and, and also a war of stages. I think that's another, like, you know, knowing your stages, even just versus your opponent, because it could be a bad stage for, like, you don't like it, but, like, if someone's camping you, and, like, let's say you don't like Smashville, it will really help you just saying, fine, I'll, I'll take the Smashville, because, like, it's hard to camp on that stage. Those are the best sets, because in Game 5, that's usually when the players don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> because that's when, like, you know, they've really adapted to each other's, like, game plans, like, two times in a row, yeah, like, like, taking turns, and then it's Game 5, it's just, like, that's when the spaghetti comes out, yeah. and that's... That's what the people love to see. <laughs> we love seeing some spaghetti. We, we love fire. Italian meals out here, bro. Yeah. We're hungry. All right. All that Nikita coming through, that little Pika, uh, Pika Rocket 1. Yeah, forced him to go low at the very least, even if it didn't hit with like the yeah. first, uh, the hit one of the tail hit box or anything like that. It still put BB in a bad spot. All right, oh, he wanted him to try to throw out a projectile so he can heal off of it. Because yeah. a lot of heroes, they'll throw out, uh, if they're high enough, they'll throw out like a bang or a kaboom or even just a neutral B. Mm -hmm. And it forces you to shield so they can up you to like. Yeah, the sizzle if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Well, Smash gonna do it there. Get it. Fun fact about uh, Kazap, it's actually 
coded as a normal move, so it gets buffed by Oomph and Psycho. Oh, I, th I thought it also counted as a projectile, does it? It counts as it counts as both for some reason. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting properties to put on a move. That's not another. That's not a common thing you see with characters. Yeah. Because you can reflect it, but it also it will get buffed by it, uh, his damage buff. I like the rising neutral air by the ledge that uh, Syrup did over there. A lot of Nessus would opt to do a second forward air in that situation, but he recognized not only that he was out of stage to roam uh, to yeah. get the combo on, even with the neutral air, might not. Even with the neutral air, it would have put him in the same position as well as yeah. a more consistent hitbox. So many Nessus just love to fair string in that position. And honestly, just hitting their shield once and then just not pressing your double button yeah. will like throw people. Because people are like, all right, I'm going to shield and then parry the second button and then go for a big punish. Mm. And it's like, wait a second. Like, a lot of times you'll even see some shield flickers and like the best of the best will just grab that. Hey, oh, every time. Yeah. Every day of the week, baby. Oh, I love the weight. Not a single fastball taking advantage of Ness's floatiness and yeah. getting out that lingering hitbox of the yo-yo. That's a Ness player. You know what they love to go for. Yeah, I, I'm just like, uh, I, like Vivi's just hasn't had an, as much opportunities to zoom, and I, that's, I feel like that's what's really, you know, getting these kills. Oh my! Oh my God! That coverage was nuts. That was absolutely nuts. Go back there to take the stock, but Syrup right there. That was the only option. Only option that he had to avoid the kaboom right there because it was gonna it was gonna win box him Is off the level again. And Phoebe knew the timing to run up and still grab him for that. Like yeah. he was still positive there. And with accelerado, you can't even roll because you it, it, it's reactable. That was so crazy and optimal. That was one yeah. of the best hero plays I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Seeing a good hero is like, okay, maybe this character isn't like ruining the game. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> You know, a lot of Smashers can't read anyway, it's fine. <laughs> it, it's, it doesn't matter, you know, at the end of the day. You know, Syrup, you know, he's young. You know, he Me can still... Press he, shiny big green button. <laughs> he, he can still do it, man. Come on. Oh, I love the little reversal right there. Put him out of the danger zone. Really good on Syrup to recognize what his danger uh, zone he is. Got, he never got the zoom! Yeah, he no. never got the zoom. Honestly, like, he, he made the best out of a bad situation because he was trying to use them... Because certain characters, what they can do is they can use the max... Distance of their snap to yeah. disjoint their hurt their hurt box yeah. to to dodge that like um uh, uh, you know certain characters like I think oh Villager can do this but Olimar what he can do is he can um stall right underneath the hitbox and then grab ledge and it'll go through the hits and we saw from that replay even with the timing as good as it possibly could have been on the part of Syrup he got hit by the tiny lingering end of that explosion right there at the end that's yeah. actually how he was able to get that grab but BB recognized that he you know could potentially grab him for yeah. that situation. And as we were... And that's just nuts. That's nuts enough in and of itself. I think we may have gotten spawned in on. We might have been, yeah. There, there may have been a phenomenal artist behind us. A phenomenal artist behind us. I'm not used to having phenomenal artists behind me. Especially Dude. ones that you can buy some pretty dope power ranking prints from. Yeah. And hit, hit up Sensei. If hit you're in the Sensei, chat, yeah. like, come on, man. Like, what are you oh. doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm an old man. You can't be doing that to me. You Chat to didn't know what was going on. We didn't know what was going on. And as we said earlier, probably no one there. They were panicking. <laughs> Maybe, I, I'm starting to think Vivi didn't know that because that's the beautiful thing about Hero. Uh, you know, he literally can't possibly know what moves he's going to do before he does sometimes them sometimes. Sometimes it's just the heart of the cards, Yugi. Yeah, sometimes it really is, my friend. We're just getting bounced around like we're Joey out here instead. You know, game number five. Oh my. 90% on the part of Syrup. We got ourselves a dead even match so far. A lot of buffs on the part of this hero. You're going to wait out the flame flash right there? No way. That's gonna, he's giving him all the time in the yes world to recover. way he's going to do that. Because, I, I mean, I, from that distance, you actually can always neutral get up. But as we saw, he doesn't want to neutral man. get up because Vivi is so on top of the neutral get up. Dude, he might die if he gets hit, man. This percent yeah. with the psych up. Uh, uh, I, I thought it was going to be back here. Though. He ate that. He ate it, but he my, only got like 3% off my of My man it. got his Wheaties. Yeah, it's not it's, even like, it's not the big pit of the explosion, yeah, yeah. you know? Like, he, that's, he only got like the initial like first hit yeah, of the that's, projectile. Yeah, that's unfortunate thing about, you know, two hit explosions is that like, ne uh, Ness and Lucas can only eat the first part. Yeah, I mean, unless, like, you know, like, they're recovering from high or whatever, yeah. like, or they're, like, falling at a disadvantage, and then mm -hmm. they do it, like, and get hit by the residual of the explosion, but yeah. a good hero's not gonna throw that out there at that portion, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot of baits coming out from the Yeah, he has right Accelerado, now. and I think he's got either Slick or Oomph. I can't, the coloring's too sim uh, similar for me to tell. And I love the patience on the part of Syrup as well. Not falling for any of those single baits, he's instead just watching his positioning and trying to react to it whenever it comes. He's not letting we, the fear see We just saw him got Accelerado into Accelerado. Yeah, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic the Frontiers, dude. It's like the Square yeah. Enix. So that, that was cycle. That was a, that was a one-time use. One-time use for sure. Yeah. Now I, that's the craziest thing. You know, heroes good is when they're chaining the same buff into into itself. Yeah, because they know which ones they just want to have as part of like you know just playing out the neutral. Yeah. You know, like not which ones they want to have to just close out the stock. You know, mm -hmm. and accelerate again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bounce was it? You know, uh, mm. was able to kind of shut down any any platform shenanigans and then accelerate past that. Oh, that was. 
Unfortunate that the down smash went through, and now he's getting a huge amount of mileage. Doesn't get his head clipped. Additional damage right he, there. He, this is looking like Shulk of his Minatos. He's just switching the right the right art every time. Honestly, bro. <laughs> I mean, not the art, the, the right spell. You know, if Shulk wasn't as hard of a character to play as, as he already is, I would imagine like all the Shulk players would have like hero secondaries. Yeah. <laughs> just for no reason. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe Echo Strong would find a way for him. Maybe. Ranger. Talk to him about it, man. <laughs> I'll talk to him about it, bro. Nah, I'm a big fan of Ranger. Me too, bro. Wake up forward air right there. Dead even percent between these two players. Game number five! My gosh! The up smash. Was, again, Spaghetti. Like, he accidentally it. goes through the up. Uh, he might have beefed up B, but it didn't literally look like, look like a beefy up B, because mm -hmm. there's, there's, no there, there's nothing threatening that leg. No, yeah. Um, but just just good knowledge. Uh, you know, he, he had the better knowledge check to know that like he has no end lag on one charge. Good wait. I love how he kept the up smash up right there, waiting out the spot dodge, man. That would have been bad on shield and even worse with the spot dodge right there, because you gotta like get that tangibility out at some point. We are down to last stock of game number five between these two Titan players right here in winners semifinals. Oh my god, he's supernova just, number two. He's getting so much momentum coming off this turtle wing. No. I would be kinda livid. No. Seerp is is a trooper. No. I would have No. No. I would have been on any Smash compilation. No. I, my controller would have exploded. I want to say hello to Twitter.com. I, I, like, I would like to say hello to Vivi's next, um, Vivi's next godlike montage. Okay, so uh, when are we getting scratch-off cards? Later, later, after, after the tournament. Maybe. After the tournament, we'll, we'll, okay. We'll, after the tournament, we'll do that. <laughs> Because this is the person who needs to buy one right now. We're going to take a look at this play again. Oh, man. my God. I can't even think of a number yeah. funnier than 24. Uh, 25. <laughs> See a SpongeBob shirt. I, I, knew, I knew it was like some tie-dye. I like the fit. Yeah, I no, it ain't I recognize... Like, game should have recognized game. Like, you see what I'm rocking with? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Game recognizes game. No, the funniest thing is this is the last shirt in my... It's either this or a Rob shirt. Because right. all my other clothes, I just got back from college. Um... I actually go to this school. I feel that. All my yeah. masks are, like, just dirty right now, and I have to wash them, yeah. so I just, like, sort of take out another one instead. Nah, yeah, I got clean. sick, like, a month ago, so, like, I'm triple vax, so I'm, I'm chilling. No, 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 me too, me <laughs> yeah. too. Like, you know, like, you know, we're all doing our thing. We're all doing yeah. our things to protect each other. You know, we're getting, mm -hmm. we're getting, our, we're getting our vaxes. You know, we're hanging out with good people. I mean, hey, like, I'm, I'm chilling here without one. It's all yeah. good. Like, I'm sitting here doing that, you know.